Okay, so I've fallen a little bit behind on my February garden checklist, and that's not a problem. Shit happens. So I'm going to do a little bit of catching up today, and I'm going to take care of the fourth item, which is ordering my garden seeds. And I've already done a little bit of the legwork for this, so it's going to be a very simple process for me today. I literally just have to order them, but I'm going to share my process with you in case you find that helpful. So I order my seeds from West Coast Seeds. They're a really great seed supplier here in Canada, and they operate out of British Columbia. I signed up for their seed catalog years ago, so I get one every year now. And I encourage everyone to go out there and sign up for seed catalogs from all the seed suppliers that you like or all the seed suppliers that you think you might want to order from. And the really great thing about this is that they tend to send them really early in the year. So that serves as a really great reminder to order your seeds. And so seed catalogs will give you pictures typically of all the different varieties that you can get, as well as detailed descriptions so you know what to expect from that seed. And that can really give you a great idea for what you would like to order, what's going to work best for you. So now that I know what I want to order, I'm going to refer to my garden plan to see how much of each seed that I need to order. And I already demonstrated in a previous video exactly how I created my garden plan. So if that's something of interest to you and you haven't seen it yet, I encourage you to go back and check that out. So this is a pictorial representation of the garden plan that I created. And in the tool that I used, I can then go look at a plant list that will show me everything that I put in this picture and how many of each item I put. And then that will tell me how many seeds I need for each plant to accomplish this vision. Then I go ahead and consult my seed pad folio here to see what seeds I already have and figure out which ones I need. So then I just head over to West Coast Seeds and purchase all the seeds that I need, at least for now. So the checklist does say order seeds and other materials, but there's nothing else I really need at this point to start seeds. I will need to order some stuff later in the year, but I'm just not there yet. But if you still need to get some stuff to get you set up for seed starting, then I recommend you go back to my website at anarchistgardener.ca to read this blog post, The Ultimate Guide to Seed Starting. And that's my process for ordering seeds. Done.